Lowland Showdown continues today on Dram Buster with Dram number two, Glasgow 1770, the original. Bring it on. What about you folks? I'm Big Al and welcome to Whiskey Street and specifically to my continuation of the Dram Buster series featuring my subscription to the Dram team and their latest box, The Lowland Showdown. Last one was the Bladnock 10, today it is the relatively young Glasgow 1770, the original, which is bottled at 46% ABV. It was matured in Axe bourbon casks and finished in virgin oak casks. And you can pick it up for 49 quid, but it's only for a 50 CL bottle. I'll pop all the relevant links into the distillery, what they're all about, how they came about, so you can read that at your own convenience. But let's jump right into the pour, see how it is in the nose, see how it is in the palate, give you my thoughts and let you know if you should buy it, try it, or just deny it. The choice is yours. So here we go, folks. Pour yourself a wee drama this if you've got it. Pour yourself a drama something else. We scotch or something. Drink along and we'll get through this together and see how it goes. Slauncha. On the nose, it's a really lovely and surprising first impression. There's a wee hint of a chocolate note that comes there right at the start, but then it's overtaken by dried fruits. And then that classic bourbon note really comes into play. You've got vanilla, you've got caramel, you've got oak. And it's really rather refreshing in a way. In fact, you could really be forgiven on the first nose in here if you thought this was actually a bourbon, but not a high ABV bourbon, probably a 40% entry level bourbon. But it really does have those classic bourbon notes of the vanilla, the caramel, the oak. A wee bit of bottle char there too, but it's very light. It's not dark like you'll usually get in some of the more refined, higher class bourbons. But what you've got here is those bourbon notes. They're light, they're refreshing. Does suggest there's a wee bit of youth here in this whiskey, and by all accounts, it's probably just at the minimum age of three years. But I have to say, for a young Scotch, the nose in this is particularly really pleasant. Really enjoying this nose. It does have a hint of youth to it, but it's really, really refreshing and pleasant. Time for the taste test. How does it fare in the taste buds? Slauncher. It's a tad sharp on the arrival, but then that dissipates fairly quickly. And what comes in there after that? There's a wee bit of bottle char, there's coffee, there's creme brulee. And yes, as it says in the taste notes as well, there is some butterscotch too. But what's nice even about this first sip is despite that initial sharpness it does become relatively creamy and flavorful very very quickly so let's go in again and see how it develops now in this second sip it is quite a wee bit of a different animal it's fruity quite different from the first sip you've got pineapple mango and then it evolves as it crosses towards the mid palate to the back into a little bit of caramelized pear and that's really really nice bit of brown sugar in there as well a wee bit of effort pheasants like it's tingling dancing on the tongue very very nice just one more wee sip once again, creme brulee. And it's like a mix of creme brulee and honey with a dash of vanilla in there. And just a wee 
touch of crackling black pepper. It has a wee bit of fieriness there, a wee bit of a zing, nothing too overpowering or anything like that, but it does have a nice wee kick to it. And it's really, really pleasant. I have to say, I am pretty well impressed with this. The mouthfeel, initially it's a wee bit oily, then it presents itself as reasonably creamy. The finish is surprisingly long for a young whiskey. The finish, it just keeps going and going. And, and again, that's more of those bourbon-esque flavours that are sticking with you on the finish. Bit of the barrel char, a oak, the vanilla, not as much, but it's still there, but it's more light. And I have to say, I am very, very pleasantly surprised with this dram. It's a great wee whiskey and it bodes well for what the Glasgow Distillery Company has to offer in the future. If they can put out young three-year-old whiskey with this quality right now and indeed do it the right way. So should you buy it? Should you try it? Well you're not going to deny it. It's, it's, it's between one of the two and here's where my quandary comes in on this. It's almost 50 quid for a 50 CL and that's a lot of bloody money for what you're getting. So I'm sort of on the fence when it comes to try or buy. I really want to say buy but based on the quality of the whiskey I would say buy but you have to take into account your own personal financial circumstances but by all means if you get the chance to try this take it you will be pleasantly surprised this is why the dram team is such a great service 30 quid a month well six samples 525 mils 110 and this is where you get the chance to try whiskies like this that if you were in the shop and you saw them you'll be like ah, i don't know now at this point when i'm singing the praises of the dram team i'm singing the praises of them from a loving subscription holder so please check them out i'll put on all the appropriate links but anyway folks look after yourselves stay safe and until the next time keep on dramming